Hi everybody and welcome to Carry Fit Whole Body Burn. This is the mummy and the daddy of all the Carry Fit workouts. We are going to work you from top to toe in 20 minutes, all wearing your beautiful babies. We're going to get this thing started with three minutes on the clock. Let's go with our warm up. Nice and smooth, nice and deep into our squats and raise. Let's get that weight through the heel of the foot. Make sure the chest is up. And as those arms go to the top, let's draw the tummy button in behind your baby. Just get used to the feel. Get the brain in the place to exercise. This is going to burn. 20 seconds more where we are. Nice and smooth. Good guys, let it all flow. And five, four, three, two, and we're going to switch. Bring the hands in, support the little ones, and we're just going to flick side to side, bring the weight to the front of the body. Going to get those quads nice and loose. Got a lot of squats, a lot of lunges to get through. Nice and light on the feet. Remember, carry fit is always low impact. We're always controlled. Always mindful of posture and alignment. Good, keep those working side to side. Drag the heel right to the butt. We're at 10 seconds. And four, three, two, and good. Reposition for our lunges. We're just gonna take the hands straight to the front, nice and relaxed, and nice and smooth, alternating legs. Really gliding in and out of position. Good. Remember at this stage, guys, your babies might be a little bigger, so let the legs go either side of that front knee. Nice and smooth. Good, Louisa. Nice, Stuart. Looking good, you guys. Keep them coming. Keep holding those arms out. With burn, we're going to be working with dumbbells. A lot of shoulder work, a lot of back work to come. We're at five, four, three, two, and one. Good, final reposition in the warm up. We're gonna come a little wider with the feet. We're gonna scoop back down under our babies and squeeze up. Try and keep the knees out over the line of the toes and squeeze your glutes together at the top. Sure, everything's nice and loose, nice and warm. As ever with carry fit, we've got three minutes of work, 30 seconds of rest in this burn workout. We're nearly there through the warm up. And three, two, and relax. Good. Take that 30 seconds. Check you're nice and loose. Check your baby's comfy, grab a drink if you want one, and then we get serious. So we're gonna want our dumbbells straight in our hands. Remember, we don't need to work heavy with these dumbbells, because three minutes repping through the shoulders is a lot of work. Ready to go, guys. And we're going. We're starting with our squat and press, with our squat sequence. Arms nice and wide, weights out and extended. We're going to sink and squeeze. Again, keep the chin up, the chest up. Squeeze in through that tummy button as you press to the top. All of these movements, we're going to try and work the whole three minutes without letting those arms off the hook. I want you to feel your heart rate coming up. I want you to feel the sweat. I want you to feel the burn. At four, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna reposition the feet. Try not to pop the weights down if we can. We're gonna sink and extend to the front. Tuck them in and push and push. 
Weight through the heel of the foot. Again, everything smooth, everything controlled. Let's get that big extension to the front and that fantastic deep squat range all under control. Good guys, keep it coming, 15 seconds. How are you doing Rory Brown? Looking good little man. Let's keep them coming. And we're changing in four, three, two. Open the feet right out for me. Corners of the room, weights back to your press position. Sink and squeeze. Should feel this a little bit more through the adductors, through the glutes. Keep the range, keep the posture. Really let the weight of the baby pull you down into your squat. Good everybody, I can hear some heavy breathing going on back there. It's sounding good. We're at five, four, three, two, final move. We're gonna switch those feet neutral again and we're gonna sink and squeeze again. Out at shoulder height with the weights, sink the squat down, row the arms in, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good everybody, 20 seconds to work, hang in there. Shoulders should be warm, legs should be warmer. Keep breathing. At five, four, three, two, and one. Good, relax it off. Good, a little drink if you want one. Keep hold of those weights if you're good to go. All right, next we're coming into our lunge sequence. Smooth and deep is what we need. Weights in each side, ready to work. In four, three, two, with our right leg only. We're coming down and out, gliding into that lunge. Smooth is the key again. That lap raise, let's get palms down, elbows up. On that great alignment again. Let's keep them working. That's great at the top, nice and wide, nice and smooth, controlling the knee. We're at four, three, it's good guys, two and one, reposition. We're gonna come other leg, left leg's coming back with arms to the front. Nice everybody, smooth, eyes up. Tummy button in as that leg goes back. Keep the focus, keep the head nice and still. Neck nice and relaxed. Almost there. We're at five. Four, good, range and control. Three, two, and one. Good, back to our right leg. Arms this time, we're gonna pin to the side. This is gonna be tough. We're gonna sink and squeeze. Sink and squeeze. Nice bent knee coming through. Starting to work those lower abs. Drive it through, Stu. Arms pinned wide, shoulder blades drawn together and tight. Good buddy, really pull those arms back. Draw them back, nice. We're at four. Three, you're almost in sync, you two. Two, and one. Good, a little shake out, last move. Hands to the front and pin. This time, turn the palms down. Back and through. Holding still, letting those shoulders burn up. This is why we don't need big weights. I'm sweating already, I'm not even wearing a baby. 
squeeze that knee through. Tummy button in, lower abs are tucking in. They're getting firmer, they're getting flatter. Keep going, Louisa, I can hear you. We got 10 seconds, nearly there. Last one, and relax. Good job, everybody. Nice, little drink, little breather. We've got our 30 seconds rest. Grab a drink, take a breather, make the most of it. Next up, we've got our ab sequence. Now, if you've been doing carry fit a while, let's work with the weights. Stay nice and strong. If it's an early session, maybe get rid of the weights for this one if you need to. So, feet just wider than our hips. Ready to go. We're gonna start with the arms pinned. Now, we're gonna sink into our squat. We're gonna squeeze the left knee up towards our elbow, squeeze, squeeze. Good, we're trying to shorten and tighten into your obliques. Come a little wider with your feet for me, Daddy. That's beautiful, that's what we wanna be. Nice and tight and tidy. Keep them coming, Louisa. Keep those arms out if we can. Shoulder blades pulled back. Nice, strong posture. Three, two, and good job, shake it out. Little rest for the arms, in we go again. Focus back on, arms pinned, sink and squeeze. Again, relaxed but strong in your posture. Squeeze your tummy button in as the knee rolls out to the elbow. Try not to take elbow to knee, knee all the way through to elbow. Oh yeah, it's tough. We can't fake sweat. That is good. Smooth. We're at four. Three, two, good. Little shake out. We've got one more move. Again, if you don't need the weights, don't use them. We're gonna pin that arm out. We're gonna sink this time. Straight leg. Sink, left leg, straight. Tummy in, shouldn't be a big rock. Everybody should be nice and still, nice and comfy, nice and smooth on your squats. Arms out, Stu, a little higher. Let's burn up those shoulders, buddy. Come on, big man, I've seen you in the gym. You're an animal, let's go. And two, and one. Good, other side, and then we're there. Fix those arms, we're gonna sink and squeeze. Straight leg. I think in a minute we're gonna have to turn Rory Brown round, who looks to me like he's going very sleepy, because daddy's probably got nice and warm and nice and comfortable. We're at five, four, three, two, and relax. There we go, guys. All right, next we're going to work on some balance movements. These are going to be tough. They're great for your proprioception. And we're really going to start to focus in on those lower abs and those core muscles. We've got another 15 seconds rest, and then we're going to be good to go. Rory Brown has nodded off, so we've flipped him round. He's nice and safe, nice and secure, and he's going to have a little sleep while Stu works through to the end of the class. OK, so we're going to kick off. So we're going to come onto our right leg. We're going to lift the left knee through. We're gonna bring our weights to a press position and from here we're gonna press, tuck and uncurl. All nice and slow, nice and controlled. Really trying to work in whole body and really engage through your core. That's nice, Louisa. Get that front knee tiny bit higher for me. Squeeze through, tummy button in. Good work, Stu. Let's get that heel underneath there so we're loading into the abs each time. When we're tucked in there, we're not as loaded as we are when we're nicely there. So let's get that nice shape behind that knee. Keep lifting it up, Louisa. It's good. We're at five, four, three, two. Let's shake it out. Switch legs onto our left leg. Same drill. So tuck, 
And when you're ready, we're gonna curl and press. We've got 45 seconds of these to work. All smooth, all controlled. Tummy button squeezed in. Imagine you're putting on some jeans. They don't quite fit yet. So pull that tummy button in. Good, keep squeezing. Knee nice and high. Good angle, Stu, Louisa. I want that knee up, squeeze it. There we go, it makes it really difficult. You're right, squeeze. Let's lift and hold. You keep mummy going. We're at five, four, three, two. Good, shake it out again. Back to our right leg. Try and keep your foot nice and relaxed. We're at 45 seconds. We're gonna raise this time and out. Keep the head still, the neck relaxed. We're trying to target those shoulders whilst we're holding tension through the core. And squeeze, and squeeze. Nice, everybody. How's it feeling back there, guys? <laughs> Stu, convincing. It's burning. It's good, everybody. 10 seconds. And three, I can hear you Matilda, two, and one, shake it out, last one to go. Foot nice and relaxed, try not to grip the floor with your toes, knee through, engage those abs, and away we go with our lat raises. Nice everybody, let's work it right through to the end. How's mummy doing? It's <laughs> good, squeeze that knee right up. Tummy in, Stu, don't lean back. I don't want to see anybody leaning back. Tucked in through your abs, you'll feel the leg working as well. Good, everybody, just 10 seconds. Let's squeeze, squeeze, good. We're at four, three, two, and we relax, we're there. Shake it all out, 30 seconds, and we've got one track left, and it's a brute. <laughs> We're nearly there. Nearly there. It's all too much. Dad's hanging in there. So this last track, we're going to be working rear lunges with lots of overhead presses. We're going to try and really spike the heart rate. Try and stay with me. This is going to be three minutes straight through. Very little rest, very little interruption. Just hang in there. After this one, you are done. Okay, let's line it up. Feet in our lunge position, weights to our press position. We're gonna start with the right leg going back and away we go. Smooth and deep with your lunges. Find a rhythm that you can sustain. I want you to think about keeping these weights up for three minutes. Heart rate coming up, legs burning, shoulders burning, arms burning, body burning. Keep those going. Let's have a look at you guys. Nice, Louisa. Smooth, deep strides. Don't let the weights come too low. Let's really stretch those arms, Stu. I know they're tired. Let's get them right through to the sky. Good. We're at four, three, two, one. Reposition the weights, pin them out, and keep the lunges going. That's our change, it's gonna burn straight away. If you can't do it, pop the weights in. If you can, ping them out. If you're somewhere in between, take as much load through your shoulders for as long as you can sustain. Don't compromise your form, don't lean back. Don't work bad positions. Right, indeed, Matilda. <laughs> She's feeling the burn, we're all feeling the burn. We are sweating. Come on, we're at five, four, three, two. It's brutal, but we're gonna reposition them, alternating legs again. We've got 90 seconds to go. Smooth, smooth. Again, if you need a rest, just tuck your weights there and work the lunge. That's all good. If we can keep stretching, keep stretching. All we've got to do after this one is stretch it down. Let's get that timing, Stu. Start those arms a fraction earlier. 
Let's go, buddy. Nearly there. 10. We're at five, four, three. We've got 45 seconds to go. Last time, pin them. It's gonna burn. We know it's gonna burn. I want you to think butt, legs, shoulders, abs, everything tight to keep those weights nice and still. Come on guys, nearly there. Stay with me. We've got 25 seconds. We're gonna work it right to the end and we are out of here. Last five. We're at four. We're at three. We're at two. And we are done. Carry fit, whole body is burned. So at the end of every carry fit class, it's really important that we stretch down and we stretch down appropriately. So Katie and Erin are just going to take you through with me our carry fit cool down. So we're going to start by taking our right leg back. We're going to connect the right heel to the floor. We're going to open the body, rotate round and look right down the line of the right arm, opening the chest as we go. Keep the weight slightly pressed forward into the front leg and keep the head and neck round looking down the line of the arm. Come back to the middle and extend over. Try and take the right hand just outside the line of the body. Create length through your intercostals and your obliques. Take the tension out of your back. Get that lovely shape, that nice long line. And we'll come back together, change sides, left foot back. Connect the heel to the floor, open the body out open through the chest, look down the line of the body, keep the weight pressed forward into the front leg. And coming back to the middle, take the left hand up and over, take the hand outside the line of the body, again look to create length through your obliques and your intercostals. and step together. We're gonna to support the babies as we tip into our hamstring stretch. Keep the right leg nice and straight, lift the toes towards the face. Tip forwards, keeping the spine neutral. And change sides, same stretch on the left side. Keep the left leg nice and straight, lift the toes upwards. Support the babies and feel the stretch through the upper left leg step together feet to hip width and we're just going to circle the hips out take any pressure and tension out of the hip flexors just nice smooth circles pressing forwards at the front of the stretch and narrowing the feet slightly keep the tummy tight we're going to take some nice big shoulder circles really breathe and relax keep the hands nice and relaxed the fingers spread And into our next stretch, take the left hand down, try and create length from your earlobe to the tip of your shoulder. Keep the breathing regular and relaxed. And changing sides, taking the right hand down and away, left hand up and over, and create length again from earlobe to the tip of the shoulder. And rounding the backs off, drop the chin into the chest. Feel the tension come out of the upper back. Press forward with the hands. And rolling up to the top, nice big stretch. Extend the arms, roll them out through the shoulders and relax. 